This is going to be another example of palm colored, just palm coloring. So in case y'all didn't know or haven't heard whether you care or not, Disney Plus has partnered up with Beyonce, even though I think they already really partnered with her because she did the voice of Nala on The Lion King, which is this is actually a branch of to do this documentary that's going to be streaming on their Disney Plus streaming service called Black is King. Now, I actually watched the trailer for it the other day, and visually, it looks very good. I'm not even going to lie. It looks very nice. And it's going to be streaming on their platform starting July 31st, which is almost a year later from uh, almost a year, a little over a year after the Lion King live action remake came out. And basically, it's a visual album of her album called The Gift and what she did for Lion King, which is almost reminds you remember when she came out with Lemonade, how it was a visual album on HBO and she was performing the songs, but had like it was like one long video, but it was a combination of all the songs wrapped into one. And that's what she's uh, doing with this one right here. Now, this is where I get into the part where I say palm color, palm colored is palm coloring. And I'll leave the link so y'all can actually read some of these ridiculous comments. So I went on to the Disney Plus Instagram page and I went and saw, um, clicked on the video because they had the trailer on their page, you know, for promotional purposes. And of course, it had a lot of comments. I think anything that has Beyonce attached to it is always going to draw attention. So when I clicked on it, that thing had probably at the time over 18,000 comments. So I clicked on it and I read through some of the comments and immediately, what do I see? Palm Color saying, talking about, oh, that's racist. Why is it called Black is King? It, wouldn't it be racist if someone white came out with something called White is King? Oh, Beyonce is a racist. I'm not going to support anything she ever does again. And they lie when they say that. When they be saying they're not going to support anything that she never, ever does again, they be lying through their teeth. Because I be looking at the crowds that she draws when she has her concerts. And it's a lot of palm colored people there. So I know many of them be lying. Somebody lying. And all, you know, all kinds of stuff like this. I swear, they get triggered at anything that remotely focuses or centers around us or has the word black in it. Because if my memory serves me correctly, when Black Panther came out, or right around the time it had started to get its heavy ad campaign, or marketing campaign, I should say, you had a lot of white people saying, oh, why would they call it Black Panther? It would be racist if so, if we called it White Panther and everything like that, not, not realizing whether they really didn't know, or if they didn't, they were just being ignorant, that Black Panther is an actual comic book character from Marvel that has been around a lot longer than many of those idiots making those comments have been alive. And then after the movie came out, the movie got worldwide success. It was number one in the box office for over a month. It crossed a billion dollars in record time. It became Marvel, the MCU's one of their most successful solo films. And it, it really did change the the shift as far as how a comic book movie is made with uh, uh, superheroes and things of that nature. And a lot of people was critiquing the last couple of parts of the movie because they said the CGI was off. I actually found out why that was. The reason was is because they the film crew lost the budget. They basically gave the movie enough, you know, a lot of money and a budget to make the movie. And what happened was when I think Avengers Infinity War or Avengers Endgame started to come out, they snatched the budget, like that last little bit of a budget from Ryan Coogler and gave it to the Russo brothers so they could do in the last two Avenger films. That's well, that's what I had heard. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. So really, that's why that last act where Killmonger and T'Challa were fighting looked like something made back in the early 2000s. And people, unfortunately, they ripped that, ripped that apart. I didn't um, because I was able to look past that. But I think that was the reasoning as to why. So it really was out of Ryan Coogler's hands. They just kind of snatched the budget away from him 
at like pretty much at the last minute. So they had to work with what they had as far as editing goes in post production with that particular part with the special effects. But like I said, when it comes to punk color people, whenever they see something like this, they love to claim that <clears throat> it's racist or they're not going to watch it. Well, if you're not going to watch it, just don't watch it. But for you to say that it's racist and all these different inflammatory things, it's like, well, we, well, we already know what to expect from you. To me, it's fake outrage, to be quite honest. That's what comes to mind for me when I hear and see stuff like that. But like I said, I'll post the link to that particular post. And you can look at the comments for yourself like they're so they're so ridiculous that it's laughable. Like you can't even get upset at some of the stuff that people were saying out there under that post. It's up laugh because it's absolutely ridiculous.